All right, guys, welcome back to Crawford Farms Entertainment. Today, we see how Krillin fares against Thor, the God of Thunder. Now, this guy manhandled both of his opponents leading up to me. In the first round, he fought this guy in some red and blue spandex. The kid was agile and sneaky, but he was clearly outmatched. Even if he could have figured out some way to overcome Thor's physical attributes, he had no answer for his hammer. The tournament had some pretty wonky rules. Apparently, weapons are allowed. If somebody had told me, I would have borrowed the Z-Sword. The hammer was crazy and could do all kinds of tricks. I couldn't figure out if it was AI or if this guy was a really good magician. The little spider kid was quick and landed a lot of blows, but didn't even manage to mess up the hammer man's hair. The match ended with the hammer guy hitting spider guy on his big toe. It looked painful enough, but to add insult to injury, the hammer guy just left the hammer on the poor kid's foot. The kid struggled and struggled to move the hammer as he screamed in agony. As strong as the kid was, he could not move the hammer. On the other hand, Blondie was flinging that thing around like it was weightless. What in the world was I up against next? Then in his next round, he beat up a girl. He fought some chick who literally called herself Wonder Woman. The crowd seemed so excited when she stepped out into the field of battle that I thought she had a chance. She had a golden glowing lasso that she could do some pretty cool tricks with. The best was when she roped the hammer guy, Thor. The lasso of truth compels you, she shouted as she had the guy all tied up. I think you're really pretty and after I beat you, I want to ask you out on a date, he said. He was more truthful than he probably wanted to be, so I could tell the lasso had really worked. How do you plan to beat me, she asked. His response was classic. Before you wrote me, I threw my hammer into outer space. It's currently returning to me at such a high rate of speed, you won't be able to dodge it, he said with a smile. The hammer struck her with such force in her gut that she farted, threw up, and sneezed all at the same time. She then passed out and couldn't finish the fight. Thor was the winner and my opponent in the semifinal bout. So there I was standing on the stage ready to do battle the crowd was going nuts. The atmosphere was simply electric. I won't lie, I was nervous. I hadn't even warmed up that hard, but I was sweating beads. The ref called for Thor to take his place and crickets. Where was this guy? Did he forfeit? The crowd started to boo him and the referee was just about to call the match. But just then, there was a crack of thunder. Then this clown drops out of the sky and starts bouncing his muscles around everywhere. I shouted out, hey, it ain't that type of show, buddy. At first, I tried to be tough, but let's be real. Thor was on a whole nother level when it came to power. The fight started and he didn't waste any time. He looked big and clumsy, but was surprisingly quick. I dodged and dodged, but the hammer floated up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder and distracted me just long enough for him to land a hit. He hit me so hard that Roshi felt it. Speaking of Roshi, I caught him making goo goo eyes at Thor, but when he turned around and he realized that he was a dude, the look on his face was priceless. The worst part of the whole fight, the dude managed to score a bullseye on my little pinky toe with his hammer. I'm telling you it hurt so bad. And then I looked in the stands and I could see the Z fighter snickering. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up guys, Yamcha and Goten were in the stands having a hearty laugh at my expense. Now I was determined not to become a human pancake. So I had to think fast. The guy was tough. In his current lightning charge state, I couldn't hurt him. And whatever that metal was on his hammer, it was too hard for me to damage. But I had a plan. I pulled off my ultimate move, the Destructo Disc. I swung it at him with all my might and it soared through the air like a flying saucer of doom. He dodged it and threw his hammer as a counterattack. But that was what I planned on. My Destructo Disc made a U-turn and headed towards the hammer. You won't believe what happened next. The Destructo Disc sliced right through the handle of Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. Did you hear that? Thor's supposedly unbreakable weapon just got a haircut courtesy of yours truly. Now that's what I call a killer barber. Mjolnir was now a drop top. Then when the God of Thunder saw that I decapitated his beloved toy, he fell to his knees and shouted, Mjolnir. Then Yamcha and Goten started laughing even harder. Don't get me wrong, his reaction was funny, and I wanted to laugh too, but not in the guy's face. Well, as you can imagine, Thor was stunned, flabbergasted, and probably a little embarrassed too. 
With his weapon compromised, I took the opportunity to give Thor a taste of his own medicine. I dodged his lightning strikes, danced around him like a mosquito buzzing in his ear, and managed to land a few solid hits. It was like a dance off. Without his hammer, he wasn't all that strong and I finally decided to stop toying with him and I landed a solid kick to his head and ended the battle. And just like that, my friends, I emerged the victor. Thor may have the muscles and the fancy hammer, but this bald warrior proved that when it comes to fighting, size doesn't matter. Well, except for the size of my pinky toe, because that thing still hurts and it's throbbing and it's a bit swollen. Thanks, Thor. After I hopped down from the stage, I found out that Superman had defeated his semifinal opponent, Captain Marvel. Golton came over and whispered in my ear, giggling like a schoolgirl. Look, look at him over there. He's crying like a baby because he had to beat up a girl. I'm not sure if you guys realize it or not, but teenage Golton is a bit of a jerk. Well, thanks for tuning in. Next time, we'll see what happens when Krillin faces off against the Man of Steel. Will it be a mismatch or will he find a way to win?